C-shaped infant pillows have been ranked year after year as a product moms can't live without. These pillows offer support while feeding infants or during baby's tummy time. Unfortunately, these store-bought pillows are pricey, so I've created free patterns for both a pillow form and a pillow slip cover. And yes, this slip cover will also fit name brand Boppy pillows as well. This tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. Begin by printing the free slip cover pattern. Just go to my website, madebymarzipan.com, and search for Poppy Pillow. Cut out the pieces on the black line using craft scissors, then tape together. Pieces A and B will be on top, and C and D will be on the bottom. You have several options when it comes to fabric. You'll need two-thirds a yard of either cotton, flannel, or minky. Remember to pre-wash and dry your fabric to prevent shrinking. Fold the fabric in half and place the straight edge of the pattern on the fold. Pin in place and cut out. Repeat for the back piece. Layer the two pieces right sides together and pin. Leave an opening for the 18 inch zipper along the top curve. Sew the pieces together with a quarter inch seam. Never inserted a zipper before? Don't worry, I'll walk you through it. Clip and notch the curves to help the fabric lay flat. Be careful not to snip your stitches. Turn right side out and press. Pin the zipper to the top edge of the fabric. Pin through only the top half of the zipper tape. Switch to your sewing machine's zipper foot. A zipper foot's base is narrow like a ski, allowing you to get close to the zipper. Depending on the foot and your machine, you may be able to attach the foot either on the left or right side of the bar. Other machines may require you to switch the needle position to the left or right instead. You may find it helpful to remove the machine's sewing arm. Insert the pillowcase around the sewing machine. Remember you're only sewing through one layer of fabric. Stitch very close to the zipper's teeth. Stop sewing a couple inches away from the zipper pull. With the needle down, open the zipper by pushing the pull past the foot. This is a little awkward, but you'll manage. Continue sewing down the length of the zipper tape. Turn the slip cover inside out. Line up the free edge of the fabric with the free side of the zipper tape. Pin together, remembering to only pin through one half of the zipper tape. Depending on your zipper foot, you may need to switch it to the opposite side. Sew the zipper in place, again remembering to stop to open the zipper. Finally, I recommend using pinking shears on the seams to give the slip cover a longer life. You could also serge, overlock, or zigzag over the seams for extra durability. Turn right side out through the zipper opening and press. As you can see, it's a good fit for the name brand Boppy Pillow. Please note that this pillow is intended for infant support and feeding. Baby should never sleep on a pillow. Always supervise baby when using this pillow. This tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. If you'd like to learn how to make your own C-shaped pillow form, please visit madebymarzipan.com and search for Poppy Pillow. Made by Marzipan is in no way associated with the Boppy Company. Visit madebymarzipan.com to download your free patterns.